yeah, so 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 Josh, uh, I'll, I'll let you take the first question if you want. Sure. And, and... Well, nice to meet you, Jeff. Um, nice meeting you. Yeah, I'm excited to, to hear about. So just for my background, can you just talk a little bit about maybe how you met? Two years? One year. One year. Oh, oh my one. gosh. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'm a one newbie. Year. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, no, for some reason, I thought it was longer. No, um, okay, you're okay. thinking of um, uh, Doug Eau Claire. Okay, I might be thinking of somebody else. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's What's right. Your, that's right. Like, how, did, how did you guys meet? Um, to be honest with you, I was looking for a change um, for one of my courses, video game design. Uh-huh. And like most educators, when you're looking for a change, you start a Google search. And uh-huh. being a career technical education teacher, I, I, I don't remember the words I put in. I'm sure it was video game design and curriculum. I might have put something in there about career and technical CTE. You know, that's usually my, my um, thoughts when I'm doing those types of things. I'm sure your page came up and I started clicking through it and went, this is what I need and what I've been looking for. And I ended up looking through it and realizing that um, it was more than just video game design that aligned with the, my vision for my classes. And, and I, I suppose I filled out whatever's on there and lo and behold, Steve is the one that got the call and I've been working with him ever since. Awesome. And what's it been like working together? I mean, Steve's very, uh, you know, Available well, besides, besides his technical kind of difficulties that he has <laughs> once in a while, um, no, it's it, it, it's been really good. Um, anytime I have an issue, and you know, I always forget about the the time difference, and I can he gets back to me right away, and he we take care of our problems, we work through it. You know, I've I've had some different Zoom meetings I've done with him, and but you know, just a lot of emails back and forth when there's been any yeah. issues, and. We've been able to figure things out. I think he, you know, when all this COVID stuff went down, I think he had me set up in one of um, my new class, not a, a new class within a day or two. So then I can oh, offer yeah. that class online instead awesome. of trying to do it, you know, right. piecemealing it together. Sure. And so that was, that was really great. And it's, it's been a, it's been a really good experience. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's right, because you could, right when this thing hit, you said, I need to spin up something to do with this group of students. And that's, mobile right. Apps. Yep. that's that's right. That's right. So we did. Yeah, that's right. Because because Dan and Holly. Yeah, that's right. So they got we got that thing spun up in pretty quick order. Yeah. Yeah, it was. And, and yeah. you know what? It was. Did we use all that was there? No, obviously not. We, we you know, we I pick and chose and I was able to give those kids you know, an education to further, you know, what we were doing and, and it worked out pretty well. Yeah. Great. So it's more of a, you'd say it's a really a partnership between you and CT learning, not just yeah, sort absolutely. of give you the curriculum and then forget about you. Um, I can ask for a change and we can look at things mm-hmm. and, you know, and that's the, been the nice thing. Once your class is set up, if you, you know, we're looking at things. Um, we talked about some things for next year. I'm at mm-hmm. another class um, because it just it it for our kids education has changed. Um, I'm not gonna say kids have changed, but I think the way they learn has changed, and so that means the way I teach needs to change. And mm-hmm. um, I like this because it can be as slow or as fast as I want it. It can be mm-hmm. as slow or as fast as the kids want it. Um, I have kids that are just get it. And you don't want to slow those kinds of kids down so right. they can learn on their own and do those things. I have other kids that um, aren't the great self-starter and they, and they struggle um, learning on their own. So then I can help them more on an in- individual basis. Um, mm-hmm. You know, and again, my first year, I learned a lot, but I have a long ways to go too. So it's going to get better as I, as I learn more about the programs and, and learn the strengths of, you know, my online stuff and, and mm-hmm. well, and, and again, make Steve take some things out and he'll add some things and mm-hmm. we can tinker with it too. And that's the, yeah. the other part I like about it because when I have multiple classes through you, um, one project works really good for what I want. Um, but then it might not work in another class. So we can, we can adjust those things. And I, I really like that part of it. Mm-hmm. Cool. 
And what was the student response like when you started using Deep's course? Um, you know, and, and that's being my first year, you, you learn with the students a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, the kids that really enjoy the materials that we're doing had a great experience. You know, you're always going to have those kids that it wouldn't matter what curriculum I use. They're, yep. they're going to do what they need to do, but they just, you know, they're there for the, because, you know, we're, we're telling them they have to have seven classes. Um, mm -hmm. but the kids that, uh, enjoy it really like the, the setup where they were able to work on their own. They didn't have to have a teacher sitting at a whiteboard or a PowerPoint and lecturing them all the time. Um, I think they really got into, especially at the beginning of the year where you get into the, I, I'll call it a hiring process because that's kind of the feel that the course gives you where I'm not necessarily a teacher. I'm more of a, I, I always call myself a facilitator mm -hmm. um, where I'm, 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 steering them in the right directions. And I, and you know, I, I th they really like that process. I think that teaches them so much more than, um, well, it teaches them career and technical education mm -hmm. and, and that needs to be a part of every career and technical education course. Um, that, yeah. that is, uh, that is career and technical education strength. Mm -hmm. And we need to make sure we're teaching to that strength and, and mm -hmm. making sure that we are aligned our classes with careers and, and it, and that is the one of my favorite things about these courses is it's already aligned for me. I don't have to, I don't have to search a lot of those courses. I can find curriculum for a video game design course or a web publishing. Course. I can find any kind of curriculum, but to already have the, the career side of it set up for us as part of the course is invaluable. Mm -hmm. And have you quick, seen students? Oh, sorry, Steve. Go ahead. I was going to jump in real quick because this is this, so. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that we do. In fact, I just got off a phone call with the head of a uh, professional association. We were talking about this literally like three minutes before I got on to the Zoom meeting and started messing around with my background, um, technical difficulties. And, uh, <laughs> um, and so, so just out of curiosity, you, you see that in all our courses we put in uh, ethics in the workplace, and as a as a someone preparing students for the real world. Do you like seeing things like ethics in the workplace inside a course? Absolutely. Um, you, we could do one of those a week and I'd be excited about that. You know, basically um, for my, my mobile applications course, since we started late, I didn't want to um, bury them with stuff that I couldn't do face to face. We couldn't help them. I did all the ethics stuff out of it. I picked out all those lessons where there was a reading lesson and they had to answer questions and quizzes because I knew that was something they could do on their own. Mm -hmm. So every one of those courses um, or parts of that course, that's what I did to end the year with them. And it, 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 they were able to do that on their own and they were able to learn and get something out of my course. Then if I wouldn't have had that, I'm afraid, I don't know. I don't know if we would have been able to get much out of it. So that was, I love those kinds of lessons. Yeah, one of the things that we did uh, early on, because when we started to negotiate about getting the courses that could be, be aligned to international industry recognized certifications, there was like this whole laundry list of stuff that we had to make sure we did. So the professional associations would acknowledge what we were doing, you know, so we could get that endorsement right. and get things like that. And that's why there's so much of what you see in our courses where we're talking about target audience and messaging and ethics and uh, professionalism and all those things because they were saying that's what they saw was missing the most from I, I believe that yes. yeah and 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 with all our work with skills usa and that kind of stuff that's kind of has reinforced that to us that yeah this is the kind of thing that a lot of times gets left up to the side uh while someone's scrambling to try and get students through a class well, so and sometimes you'll see those things in a careers type course mm -hmm. But if a kid doesn't take a careers type course, they might not see it through their high school career. Yeah. And also it's important to do it while they're inside the mindset in that side, that career, I think, because that way you're tying it 
together. You're making that connection it's immediately connection. Yep, right absolutely. then and there. So sorry, Josh, I didn't mean to jump on, on your questions there, but I just, oh, no, that's fine. It was just funny. We just had this conversation literally three minutes before I got on with this association. <laughs> that's why I just was jumping on that. So that's Josh. That's why I stick to email with Steve. If I, <laughs> uh, if I give him this kind of an Avenue, I never get anything done. <laughs> Where's that soapbox? Where's my soapbox? <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, I was going to ask you, Jeff, about, um, you know, have you, I'm sure you've seen students who maybe weren't as interested or didn't think they were as interested maybe in STEM or, you know, a certain uh, subject that really became engaged with it and now are looking at that as a potential career path. Um, do you see students like that who really get engaged and are now kind of, you know, really thinking about their futures? Yes, and that's that's the the key to these courses. I think it, it gives students a chance to look at um, different careers within a career, if that makes any sense. Like video game design, everybody thinks, well, you're going to sit in front of a computer and program. Well, no, there are there are so many different things about video game design, and, and it, it gives you an avenue. I, I think the big one with video game design for me is all these kids that are have artistic ability yes. and and they like video games, but they don't under, you know, then they realize that, well, wait, I can do both, you know? So it's, mm -hmm. it, it kind of gives them um, some experiences and, and makes those connections within a career, a career within a career, if you want to say, it, you know, everybody thinks mm -hmm. of video game design as a career, but there are many careers underneath that. And mm -hmm. um, I think that's probably where kids, get their biggest eye openers, you know, obviously big picture, you know, with my web publishing class, uh, I think some of them didn't realize really what it was until they get involved in the course and they realize, you know, wow, this is a lot of cool material that I can do, especially mm -hmm. when you get into the, the 3d um, programming or the 3d artistic stuff that we were doing and, and they really enjoy that kind of stuff and they let their artistic side stick out so mm -hmm. i really like that part of these courses also and for you as the teacher have you been surprised by any students who sort of maybe they didn't quite know you know whether their strong skills were or anything but then they really you know I, you were surprised I, that they really took to a certain absolutely you, I, I always want to be surprised by my students and, yeah. and you know I, I had a few this year that you, you don't know how well they're going to like what they're doing or, or how well they're going to fit into it and then they're the ones that end up excelling and you're and that's the nice thing about this course I can keep finding more stuff for them to do within the course and, and mm -hmm. so they're you know on project three where the majority of my kids are in project one finishing, and I'm hoping to get them through two you know where he's I can keep going with them and sure. in this day and age I think that's important you don't want to you don't want to slow down those kids and you don't want to put too much on other kids. So you can, you can really individualize um, the, this, this online curriculum for each student. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And which other courses are you doing? Um, I had uh, web publishing and then okay. I have the, Steve, help me out. 3D. Yes. So, so web, web so design, so web, so web design development, um, yep. coding and 3D video game design. There you go. Animation, um, a web animation. There you go. That's the other one. And now next year I'm going to do the mobile apps. And yeah, web and technologies. Yeah, and you're going to do web, web and mobile apps. Yeah. Uh, or, or, or is a web is oh. it app, game web games apps and sites, or is it? Uh, or mobile that's, apps? that's the web technologies one. That's the web tech. Yeah, that's the yeah. one I'm doing. Okay, okay, web, web tech. Okay, which yeah, will yeah, be yeah. soon be web. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, web. Yeah. So, so web games apps and sites. That's we've kind of renamed it because when we were doing web technology, we go. What's that? Well, in Texas, it means something very specific. The rest of the world that. means nothing. So then we say, well, okay, what are we doing there? Well, we're actually teaching web game development, app, and site development. It's more literal to kind of. And so it's just. So, it just yeah, and, then, yeah. and that's kind of, that's my mobile apps class yeah. as well. Yeah, that, it, is, it is. Okay. It is. Because, yeah. because almost all the projects you do in there are mobile friendly um right. and 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 that kind of stuff um so yeah that's those those are the four yeah you're 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 gonna be busy you're gonna be busy yes i am yeah. and that's and that's why i should be <laughs> <laughs> so how so, so um go ahead steve yeah i was gonna ask quite so, so just some other kind of techie questions so the cloud code this, uh the the ide stuff that we built 
that we've put into the courses now, that kind of stuff that lets it all be completely web based. So, so the, the, the web design, the, um, the web apps and games and that those courses there are completely PC, Mac and Chromebook friendly. Um, do, do you like the idea of that, of that coding being able to be done online in the web and you don't have to worry about students losing anything? Is that, was that helpful or, um, Yes. I, I, if, if I had my way, all my classes would be, I think all high school classes would be run that way, you know, um, especially, you know, being able to save and it's in one spot and you don't have to worry about turning things in cause it's there, you know, and, and absolutely, you know, it, it's, it's a process to learn just like anything else would be, you know, for me and them, but, but it's, I, I like everything in one way. The cloud is, you know, obviously the direction everything's headed and our classes shouldn't be any different. That's, you know, that's the world they're growing up in and, and we need to, we need to gear towards what they're comfortable with. And I, I think that's what they're comfortable with. Heck, they don't even know what the save symbol means anymore. That's a you know, <laughs> floppy disk symbol. They call it a save symbol. It's like, no, it's a floppy disk, but oh, you God. know, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's another way that they, it's another way they stick the knife in and date you. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So uh, I I enjoy the cloud part of it. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was a, that was a big that was a big adventure for us in building that tech out, and so I I keep on asking to make sure that that's that that tech is ma is meeting the expectations people have because yep. as we go through and actually we're we're actually tweaking it and we're adding some new things into it so we're we kind of got wild hair so i'll i'll let you know <laughs> so you may you may see some new stuff hiding in that one anyway so sorry josh i keep jumping all over you man so no no that's fine um yeah it's gonna be cool jeff when your kids kind of they start taking let's say the video game course or the app you know mobile app course and they realize that they can actually play a role in developing these you know the apps and the games that they you know, use day in and day out. Um, is that like kind of an eye opener for them when they realize you know, it, it a is sort of career path? It, it is. And I, and you know, and I think it, it, it again, it, it just puts them in an exploration mode, you yeah. know, where they're able to explore and, and, and figure out what they're interested in. A lot of these kids at this age, especially at this age, you know, they really don't know. And, and mm -hmm. it allows them to, to, um, dip their toes in, if you will, um, different, different avenues and, and, mm -hmm. and see if that's an interest for them. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I have had kids that, you know, will take these CTE type courses and, and realize uh, I really enjoy this. And then they'll go that direction when they get out, you know, and, and having these types of online courses is only going to make that an easier transition for me to, you know, help them. Mm-hmm. Because you can help them from wherever, no matter what. Yep. Even right. if a pandemic hits, you can. Yeah, exactly. Help them exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, so, so real, real quick uh, about so the industry recognized certifications. Um, one of the things we see is we see lots of schools that want that to be a part of what we offer, but we don't see as many students engaging to take those exams. Um, wh what do you think? Why, why do you think that is? Why are, do the students not realize the? the value of having an IIRC? Uh, um, I think it's a little bit that, and I'm going to be honest with you. The other part of it for me, for my experience is I am still not comfortable enough with the program to get them that far. Uh, I, I just, okay. in, it, cause I'm new. This was my sure, first sure, year. Sure. 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 No, sure. So there's, there's a process for me also. And I never got to a point where I felt like, I, our class got so far that now we have time to do all this. Yeah. Yeah. And I just, I did the first year I didn't get that far. And I'm, you know, that's kind of my goal for next year is to improve upon that and have some kids actually take it. Well, you know what? And actually now you say that that is the trend. So you're you just kind of open my eyes up a little bit. Yeah. That's the trend. Usually the first year, sometimes the second year, the schools mm -hmm. don't do anything with the IRCs at all. And then about second or third years when we start seeing them popping up and they're starting to, to, to get the information for the, for yeah. the professional association so, to sign up for the exam and, and, and do that. Piece. I, I don't, you know, me personally, it takes me teaching something two, three times yep. before I'm comfortable. Yep. You know, your first time you're just hoping to goodness you don't make a fool of yourself in front of the kids. Yeah. You know, and the second time is like, Oh yeah, I remember doing this 
last year and now I'm a little more comfortable and it just, it takes time as a teacher. Yeah. I, I, years ago I had a, 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 a wise, wise teacher tell me that the rule is you got to do the course for two years before you own it. And after yeah. you do it for two years, then it's yours. Hmm. You really know it. And now you're going to hit all your strides. So, and that's, yeah. that's, I think that we're all like that. We're all like that. We're still waiting for Josh to his stride with us. So I don't know what that's called. <laughs> but it's, yeah, we, we might hope. At least, might I can hope. Change, at least I know how to change the Zoom virtual background. True, true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's so funny. Oh, my God. That's, so, that's hilarious. Now you know why my wife is the one that sets the, um, the ringers on my phone. Um, <laughs> you know, I can, I, can, I can code, do all sorts of crazy stuff, but, you know, phone, but, no. but the Zoom backgrounds and my phone are, are, are the mysteries of life. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Jeff, how, how uh, many years did you say you've been teaching? Um, actually, I've been teaching for 27 years. 27, okay, cool. Wow. I, I started, I think one of my classes when I first started was a keyboarding class. You know, yeah. you used to wow. teach those types yeah. of courses. That's right. Um, yeah. We used to teach Word and Excel. Mm -hmm. We used to teach, uh, you know, those types of courses. And mm -hmm. heck, our, our third and fourth graders are doing that kind of stuff now yeah. because, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you know, it's trickled down. And, and we try to, you know, we're into robotics and we're into those mm -hmm. types of things now. And it's mm -hmm. really uh, trans. That's this is one. These courses have really transformed over the last 25 years. It's really Kind of a crazy trip, actually. Yeah. We've actually, we've actually, over the years, we've actually lost teachers who teach our courses, of course, with the IRCs and all that. We've lost them to industry. They've actually gotten hired away to industry. And um, yeah. so it's just, uh, so it's, go train. I hear a lot of that where they go into an industry and train um, yeah. people. To, you know, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. well, 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 they've got all this, they got all this credentials now. They've, they've got they all this knowledge and all of a sudden companies say, hey, we would like to have some of that here. So we've, yeah. Well, this is great, Jeff. Thank you. Oh, anytime. Steve, are we missing anything? This will put, this will make for a good, uh, a good blog article. Yeah. The main thing is the main thing is you got what you, you need for the article. And what we'll probably do yep. is we'll cut, we'll cut the video and we'll stick it with the article. So you just, so you just got the, the, the fun stuff of people mocking me for not being able to <laughs> stupid zoom backgrounds. I mean, cause, cause Lord knows that's what the world needs right now is somebody else who, it was no. being mocked for Zoom backgrounds. Yeah, okay. You're trying to get more business. If they show you trying to put a Zoom background on, you're <laughs> Yeah. You know what? You got to own your warts. You have to own your warts. You have to own Absolutely. your warts. You know, it's like, Absolutely. I'll never be accused of being the sharpest pencil in the box. I promise you that. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks, man. Thanks oh, man. for taking the time. This has been, oh, this, no this has been yeah. a lot of fun. And, if you need uh, anything else, you know how to get a hold of me, too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If you, Take see care. you later. All, All right. right. See ya. Bye-bye.